what circumstances are out of your control. That's what I want you to write about right now. That's what you need to get your journal out and start writing down. I am highly, highly impacted by like seasonal affective disorder, gray, clouds, weather, weather gets me. And as I was out walking this morning and spending our last couple of days here in Mexico under cloud cover and marine layer and just feeling kind of blue and sad about it, I was thinking, wow, this is such a circumstance that is completely out of my control that I'm letting impact my mood and the way that I feel. And I need to give this over to God. I know way easier said than done. And there's a lot of circumstances that are out of your control, whether it be health, whether it be income, whether it be your job, relationships, maybe it's dependent on somebody else. Maybe there's somebody else in your life. And I have this in my life as well, who you love on, love on, love on, and you can't you can't feel that or you can't get that back. And it's not about you. It is a circumstance that is out of your control. And one of the first steps in making a breakthrough in that situation is writing it out. So what are some circumstances that are out of your control? And then I know it's hard to give this stuff to God, but to pray on it, to ask him to give you clarity and peace surrounding it, to learn whatever you're supposed to be learning in that time, those are the things that you're gonna pray about afterwards. Those, the verses that come to my mind are, take every thought captive that is raised up against the knowledge of God. These are things that are, that are filling your brain, that are out of your control, that are circumstances you can't get. So these are thoughts in your head that are coming up and they're speaking contradictory to the Lord. Um, and pondering lovely things. If it's not lovely in your head, if it's a circumstance that is giving you anxiety and anxiousness and it's making you upset, it's not what we're supposed to be focusing on. Still praying that I can get a little sunshine and feel a little happier, but I know that the Lord is teaching me lessons and coping mechanisms even in the gray days.